Hi, I'm John Snow, and I'm back with some more boxing. I want to welcome all new viewers to the channel. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button for me. Slap that notification bell on for the next video. Okay, y'all, now check it out. Now, I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, Keith Thurman's situation with, um, with Earl Spence. You know, Earl Spence not wanting to give Keith Thurman a fight. You know, he don't want to fight Keith Thurman. He's he's saying he's holding against Keith Thurman. Basically, he's saying what Keith Thurman did to him when he didn't have a belt and when he was trying to, um, you know, get a fight with Keith Thurman. The thing is, he wasn't Keith Thurman mandatory around that time, and he didn't have a belt, you know. Keith Thurman right now is Earl Spence mandatory. You know, now I think your name, I think your name's C. Mayo. Now, on the last video, you said um, Keith Thurman wasn't in position, right, to be asking for, you know, I guess to get Earl Spence, you know, and, and Terrence Crawford or whatever. The thing is, he is in position, you know. To get the the Earl Spence fight, you know, because the WBC put him in that position after he beat Mario Barrios, you know. Another reason why he's in that position, because he got good ties with the WBC. Like I said, Keith Thurman was. He already was a two time champion, you know. He already had the WBC and the WBA. So this got a lot to do with Keith Thurman, you know, being in position and why he's ranked number one after he beat Mario Barrios. You know, he got a lot to do with why he's in, in that position. You know, Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz, they haven't got belts yet. You know, to and that's the reason why Keith Thurman got ranked over them when he wasn't, you know, when he fought Mario Barrios. A lot of people were like, dang, he shot. I was saying the same thing. He shot over Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis, and he only had one fight. I was saying the same thing, but I understand this boxing thing and how things go, you know. Now. I think Keith Thurman will fight Jerron Ennis or Virgil Ortiz if the money right. He keeps saying that. Send a contract if the money right. Now, if he fight Jerron Ennis or Virgil Ortiz, I at least think this man should get about $7 million. They should at least pay this man $7 million. You know, I don't know if he's going to get that out of Al Heyman fighting Jerron Ennis. But when you talk about Virgil Ortiz, you're talking about the zone. You're talking about Golden Boy. Maybe they'll pay Keith Thurman that, you know, if Al Heyman willing to let Keith, Keith Thurman go over there, you know, and, and just take a percentage for the fight. You know, I don't know how they, to be honest, I don't know how they'll work the business. But he might have to let Keith Thurman go over there and get this fight. And the reason why I say that, because if Earl Spence don't want to fight Keith Thurman, this is what's going to happen. He's going to get stripped. He's going to get stripped, you know. And I can see, then I can see a Keith Thurman versus a Virgil Ortiz or a Keith Thurman versus Jerron Ennis because you will have that WBC title on the line. You know, you will have that title on the line. And if the money, right, like I said, I think Keith Thurman will do it. I think he can get $7 million, you know, $7 million plus from Golden Boy to Zone. You know, um, 
the way I see it, y'all. Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz could be in the way. They is in the way of Keith Thurman, you know, getting another title. They is in the way of Keith Thurman getting another title, especially if Earl Spence vacate that WBC, you know. And like I said, then I can see a Virgil Ortiz, Keith Thurman, Jerron Ennis, Keith Thurman, you know. So he might have to fight one of those guys to get that WBC title if Earl Spence vacate, you know. Um, now, Keith Thurman is ranked number one in that WBC shank swim body. Virgil Ortiz, number two. Jerron Ennis, number three. But if you look at the other three sanctuary bodies, Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz is number one and number two in all those sanctuary bodies, right? Ranked over Keith Thurman, you know, and the other three sanctuary bodies. And this is why I say they is in his way of a title shot, you know. Um, now, if Earl Spence vacate that WBC what's Mike what what's going most likely happen the WBC is going to order they're going to order Keith Thurman Virgil Ortiz you know and that'll probably be a way um Virgil Ortiz can take the fight away from Jerron Ennis because like I said he is ranked number two you know behind Keith Thurman this will also, if an Earl Spence vacated, also put um, Al Heyman in a bad position because Al Heyman do not want to let he he do not want to let go that WBC waterweight title, you know one forty seven. He do not want to let that title go, so he might be forced to let to have to let Keith Thurman go over to the zone, you know, do some business with Golden Boy to make the Virgil Ortiz fight. 